Hi, today I want to talk about a long-awaited feature in Canva, which is captions for videos. Let's go straight over to my screen and take a look. I've uploaded a video I did a few weeks ago about grouping your elements together, and I just was going to use this as the example. Added it to a video frame and stretched it out to fit. But I will show you a different way of doing that, which makes it a bit more creative as well. And to find captions, all you need to do is go over to text. And captions are a free feature. Now, if you want to change to a brand font and any of the other elements that match your brand, you will need a Canva Pro account. And I will put a link to the Pro account below this video. But it's free, which is fantastic. So here you are, just click on captions. All videos with audio, and then it will then auto-generate it. Let's click generate captions. I think you'll find it happens very quickly. And here we are. So the captions are added. Now I can move this around. I can take it further down. Let's change the font first of all. And I'm going to change it to the viewer and graphic designer, architect's daughter, because I do have a pro account. But there are loads of other fonts you could choose. There's so many options in Canva that it's not even difficult to do it. It's also included it with a purple background, and that's not my color either. Let's go to that's an effects and we'll take the background. I'm going to change that. And again, because I have a pro account, it's brought up my colors and I'll change it there. Now I could reverse this and have these white and black, or I could do whatever I want in terms of color. I'm actually happy with that as it is now. And if we just play it through, the other thing that I found is that they're actually very accurate, which is amazing. Play. Today I want you to do some back to basics training and look at how you group elements and text in Canva. I came to be your graphic designer and the Canva Canva. I just lost it. Okay. So it's can't kind of spell Canvasador, which I found on lots of things. Obviously, I'm going to have to go and edit that. It's very easy to do. Just click in as you would any other box. Now, you can change any of this. You can change the font. You can change the style. You could change the size. But let's go back through. Every canvas done. And let's go to my screen and take a look how you do this. I'm doing this recording because I had a couple of questions on. Now, I'd say this a little too high. So I'm going to drag this down a little bit. And when you make a change, it affects all the other captions. You can't make it individually. If once you make a change, make it la larger, the font size changes all the way through. There's no option of having different features or different effects or different animations on each caption. So you have to go with one thing all the way through. I'm sure Canva will change that. It also supports a whole range of languages already, and they're more being added all the time as Canva boosts its translations. You can click on the captions area there. I can also edit it from here which is a nice feature. You can either change it on the screen or you can edit it on this side area of captions. And apart from those two words, I haven't found anything else. They've got be your own graphic designer this time, and this will just change it on, as you can see, it's changing it immediately on my screen. And interestingly, when I click on it, it comes up in this black and white format, but ignore that because you can see below that it has got the right level. What I can do is right click on here and put hide captions. Now that's hidden. It'll just have the captions that they've embedded. But if you want to do something different, and quite often some of the information that you need is at the bottom of your screen. If you want to change that, let me go and just make this smaller. I'll center it and make sure I've used the guides. Go around corners because I happen to be fairly obsessed. Don't ask anybody who knows me about rounded corners do that. I can put a background to it, the usual way. Now it's framed. I'm going to make this even smaller. Click on this. Put it further up. And then I'm going to take my captions and I'm going to drag them down. We'll need to be a little smaller still. And now I won't get in the way of anything that I want to do. But you can see 
Oh, I've got a much more interesting video now with the captions underneath. That's how you can make it a little more interesting if you want a video that's not going to be standard. I'll just quickly show you our mobile video. Again, click on the video. This is a short I did the other day. And I'm going to go to text. Scroll down. Captions. You can see it says select video's caption. And it's got the screen recording here. I'll just tick that. And then scroll down and generate captions. And as I said, it's just incredibly fast. Now this is quite small, and I will probably want to adjust where I put that as well. Let's edit the caption. We now have captions up on the top toolbar. I'm going to take change, go to effects. I will change the background from purple to blue. Close that down. Change the font again. I'll click daughter. And I don't need to click change all because it will change it all anyway. And I think I'll just move the whole box down. Make it a little larger. That looks more balanced now. So it works on mobile videos as well. Well, you can use it for Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. I hope that helps you understand how to use the fantastic new feature that is captions for videos in Canva. I'll see you next week.